Real. Oh, is there a second one? Oh, there is a second one. Hi. Yeah, look at hey, that. Wow. Welcome to... You have a name again. Rhymes with play. You do it. My name is Yog. Yeah. I am a programmer on Oxygen Not Included, and my partner, as sometimes, is... <laughs> I am indeed Jambel. Uh, I'm an audio designer on Oxygen Not Included. Yeah, back from vacation. I've been back for a while, actually. It's true. You've just been trying to keep me down. Exactly. You're like, Jambel, you can't do the stream. You're a fool. You're a gush darn fool. Those are all the words I used, yes. That's how you spoke as well. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wow, you got really, really funky when I was yeah. gone. Um, yeah, so um, those of you who watched the other streams know what we're going to do, but uh, for anyone who's new, uh, we are playing the new update that is in progress that we are working on. Um, it is called the Outbreak Upgrade. Um, and upgrade I'm, or update? Upgrade. Upgrade. You don't, oh my god. That's cool, dude. Sorry, go on. <laughs> They're all <laughs> called it's, upgrades? It's thermal upgrade, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll hear you. Uh, the truth you, is, upgrade. Do you, man. I'll be back here. Yeah? yeah. You're, you need some practice. You should have had a dry run in front of a mirror <laughs> I did, or something. Actually. Yeah. Last night it was yeah. hours long. Yeah, you were like rhymes with clay. Hello. <laughs> ah. Um, but yeah. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Um, we will be playing um, the outbreak upgrade. Uh, we're going to be uh, playing a slightly more established base. Those of you who've watched other streams, we've been uh, playing from the beginning for a while. Um, so I'll kind of get into what happens logistically in your base after you've played for a while. Um, yeah, and uh, to answer one of the questions, which was there before the stream and happens all the time, people ask us, when is this coming? And the last two streams, I said three to four weeks, so one of those might have been a lie. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, so the date we are aiming for is the 24th of August. Oh, um, yeah. So What is it today? That doesn't have the date. Hopefully it's <laughs> not the 24th. Oh, crow, we got to go! That would go very poorly. So yeah. um, it's not... Like 100%, but it's like 90% certain that's the date this thing is going to hit. And All you right. get to play it, give it a try, have a good time with it. Um, is that the first time we have mentioned the date? Absolutely. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Hot off the I press. saved it for you. <laughs> <laughs> the other times I was like, I can't use this. <laughs> <laughs> the star isn't here. It's too important. You weren't even telling yourself the date. You're like, I can't. I yeah. gotta let him have it. Exactly. Um, so yeah, so that being To answer said, a question, uh, it is not a DLC. It's just a... An upgrade. Free update. Free upgrade. upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> it is not a DLC. If you own the game, you will get the upgrade. If you don't own the game, you can get it now and play it and get the update when it comes out. Nice. Um, yeah. So uh, let me dive right in. Dive it. Oh, dive. you want to swap the old scene to. No, I don't. Man, we'll just watch our <laughs> we don't places. do that anymore. Yeah, we basically, that's what I hear. This is me playing the, <laughs> the upgrade. <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> new streaming style. Yeah. Watch um, my face. It's like a long reaction video. When you weren't here, the first one I did with uh, Chris, um, I played a bunch without showing the oh, yeah. game. Not on purpose. This, yeah. You heard about I this. I heard about it. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's all good, all set up, makes sense, works. Uh, yeah, it looks, uh, looks substantial, uh, uh, correct to me. Substantial cool. doesn't Kay. make any sense in that context. Sorry, well, go let's ahead. Let's jump right in. Uh, we're going to do a quick recap of uh, all the new stuff, and then we will gather questions after Yog has shown us all of that stuff. Yeah. Um, so uh, just from a high level, the two big things in the upgrade, as you would say. Um, Your face so, is so smooth there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I practiced that one in the mirror <laughs> for like an hour. <laughs> but um, so two big things are uh, we've revamped disease. Um, so there are now pathogens, uh, which I'm going to show in a minute. Uh, and the other thing, which um, we're kind of saving for you to explore on your own, uh, the other big change is there's now uh, what we're calling ruins in the game. And it's uh, non-organic things that you'll actually find already in the world that can give you some benefit that um, start telling the story of what happened to the dupes, why they're here, what they're trying to do, things yeah. like that. Right. Um, so yeah, um, those, sorry, you won't see them in this, in this uh, video, but uh, we are going to jump in and show um, some of what the disease changes that happen, and as we go through, I'll talk about some of the other changes we've done to the game. So, uh, this base is on cycle 20. Um, so, the way I've kind of laid out my base, or actually, let me start with this, is um, there are uh, two pathogens in, um, in this game right now. Uh, first one is food poisoning, uh, and the way the pathogens work are um, you have sources, uh, which essentially build up disease. So the outhouse, uh, when you use it, it actually spits germs on the dupe and spits germs into the polluted dirt inside of it. 
Um, the, way, uh, the way I tend to try and play is I want to isolate that. I want to keep the germs here that are there um, from infecting the rest of my base. And the germs tend to spread as you would expect. So uh, if a dupe uses the outhouse, get some germs on them, and then they pick up a piece of ore, that ore will get the germs. Mm -hmm. um, if you brought that ore to a storage locker, that storage locker would get the germs. So you can see here, um, I was doing pretty well, and then, and then it came close to when I wanted to stop for the stream. Uh, and then I looked around, and um, it, started, oh. <laughs> it started spreading throughout. So whose bed is that? Whose bed is that? That is uh, Ellie. 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 Yeah. So you can see here, Ellie has a bunch of germs on her. Um, what I was trying to do is I had two wash basins here. Um, the wash basins are a, a new building type, if you will. Just no, showing what it looks like. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's, uh, it's a directional building. And the way the wash basin works is you get to actually say uh, if the dupes will use it when they walk by it on the left or on the right. So you, um, you kind of, so they won't go seek it out uh, like they do with the shower or the outhouse. Um, so what you're trying to do is control, oh, as the dupes come in from this side or that side, they clean themselves up so that they don't spread the germs throughout your base. Mm -hmm. um, so here you can see. Um, in the actual wash base, and here uh, in the disease overlay, it actually shows you the content. So you can see, um, as they've been washing their hands, the polluted water has been gathering germs. Uh, eventually, it spits out onto the floor, um, and the dupes actually have to bring this polluted water, which um, the polluted water contains the germs, and then they bring it to this bottler, or this bottle emptier, and then they drop it into this pit, and this is where I'm kind of accumulating all my germs in the space. Oh, yeah, I see. Um, the germs themselves, they are, uh, they're sensitive to uh, different simulation things. So if I go, let's click on um, this over here. So here I'm clicking on food poisoning. Um, so you cool. can see, it tells you how many germs there are. It also tells you what it grows on. Uh, so it was on food, or food poisoning actually grows on food. It grows in polluted water. It tells you the rates at which it grows. It tells you where it survives and doesn't die off. It uh, tells you in what kind of conditions it will actually s start dying. And then um, down here, you can see if I actually have chlorine, it dies really quickly compared to if I'm, in, uh, if I'm just in gas, it kind of takes a while before it dies out. Um, so down here, this is kind of the germs I'm producing from just running my base. Um, and then up here, um, this is slime lung, which you actually find in the slime biome. So. Um, polluted oxygen isn't a thing that gives you disease anymore. It's, there is slime lung in that if you have polluted oxi oxygen, it actually grows in that and spreads oh, throughout I your see, base. Um, so keeping your, your air clean is important, but not because um, polluted air is bad for you. It's because polluted air is an easy way for the disease to spread, or spread through your base. I see. Um, so the way I laid this out is when I started, I had a couple of wash basins. I've kind of locked this left side off. That's why this ladder isn't connected yeah, here. Yeah, I was wondering about that. That's, it's an That's aesthetic cool. choice. <laughs> <laughs> I like to make their lives slightly more difficult. But you can see here, so um, my outhouses, they accumulate a bunch of germs. Uh, the dupes, as, after they use the outhouse, they clean themselves on the way out. I actually started turning it on for both ways because it's not working out great because I was kind of rolling the dice here where when I just had the two outhouses, things were OK. Um, but then I started putting storage lockers and stuff over yeah. here. So I can get to a point where there's more than two dupes who are on the way yeah. out. And that's how it started infecting and spreading across. And Ellie had a bad time. Would you not want to put your storage lockers in like your germy kind of area? Um, that, would that be a, a, a more intelligent? Not to say that you're not intelligent, Yoke. But uh, <laughs> I'm so glad you're back. It makes this <laughs> so much better. Yeah, well, all right. <laughs> just, just so you know, next week ho Chris is hosting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. And yeah, you that's... go back on vacation. <laughs> yeah, oh hell yeah. Um, it's tough, right? Like you want to have the dupes not spend a bunch of time washing their hands, and you don't want to mm -hmm. have wash basins all over the place and having them refill them all over the place. Um, you can see here, I put my compost on this side so that when the outhouse is done and it uh, spits out the polluted dirt. The dupe will come here, pick up the polluted dirt, drop it off at the compost, and clean themselves on the way out. Mm. Um, so again, I'm, I'm kind of rolling dice a little bit. Is If that 
kind of happens and someone's going to the bathroom at the same time, I could start leaking uh, germs in my base. I see, I see. Um, so what I can do is uh, when I kind of fail at isolating this stuff, uh, I will, oops, I didn't want to actually disinfect that, sorry. So I'll show the disinfect tool. Um, so you can actually mark buildings for disinfect. So this bed that Ellie slept in is gross and germ filled with germs because I failed, but that's okay. Or Ellie failed. She uh, forgives you, I bet. She forgives me? I suspect. Nice. Yeah. Um, I don't think this has Lindsay the sounds you hooked up to it yet. Oh yeah? Well, let's, yeah. hold on, let me turn on your speaks here. But, um, Wait, does that make sense? What? Oh yeah, there we go. We, we got yeah. Something. We got something going on. So here I've, kind of, I've marked the, the bed for disinfection, so Lindsay's coming over, and if I bring up the germ overlay, you can see uh, that the little dots will slowly fade out, and I really like those dots. He Whoa, like, look at Ellie cruising around. Yeah. Just covered in... Uh, just having a great time. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, um, so that's kind of the layout I did for this base. Um, and it's, it's kind of worked. Uh, the other thing I've done over here is um, I've started setting myself up uh, a cooking station because um, the other thing that happens is if you cook your food, it kills the germs on it. Um, and I really want to be, because food poisoning grows on food, I put my cooking stations here, uh, I put my fridges here because I really want to be careful about germs not mm -hmm. making it onto my food. Um, so, and then I have my messed tables up here. So the idea being also that um, the dupes will clean their hands before they go and pick up food at yeah, the refrigerator, yeah. go back up. Um, the other thing, which I haven't had to do, luckily, yet, is um, you, can, you can click on the contents in a storage now. Oh. Um, the reason we added that, so I think we're probably going to do a new UI for this at some point, but we just, for now, you can actually click on the items, and that's because you can actually mark food for compost. Huh. Um, so that is, if, uh, if I failed and then I get disease on my food, um, I can mark it for compost. Uh, the dupes won't eat it anymore. Um, so you don't have to control that through the consumables. The moment you actually mark a piece of food for compost, um, they don't consider it as valid food to right. eat. They'll bring it over here, stick it in the compost, uh, and then it'll turn into fertilizer. Um, huh. Yeah. That's, I guess, another way to get fertilizer too, huh? Uh, like just to cook food? I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, you could it. actually just let it rot. Yeah. Um, this, I, I'm pretty sure this will actually make it turn into fertilizer faster. Nice. Um, cool. Yeah. So. Uh, all that being said, um, what I'm going to do... Oh, I'll just mention this before I get into uh, Ashy playing the game. Uh, the other thing here is, uh, for those who haven't seen the other streams, um, so dupes will no longer pick up water arbitrarily. Um, so you can actually control where they pick up water now. So you build this building called the Liquid Bottler. Um, and you can see here, as I move it around, the bottom of it kind of extends yeah, out up to four tiles. Um, once you place it, it also auto auto extends and what that does is that lets you actually decide where the dupes are going to get water from um, which also means it's much more effective to do something like this where I'm dripping water over my algae habitats mm. and uh, the dupes uh, won't go steal the water that the algae habitats are trying to absorb. Yeah, that's killer. You can, uh, you can also, uh, this was just added I think yesterday, is um, just in, in the case where you don't have good flow and you really want to make sure that the, uh, the dupes don't waste time uh, actually bring water, you can actually disable liquid delivery on oh. the algae habitats. Uh, so at, at, at that point you're saying like even if my pump is dead or whatever, just don't spend time doing yeah, this, yeah, I'll yeah. fix it. Yeah. Um, this, is yeah. this is solve. not for you. <laughs> this is not for you. <laughs> Stay away. Yeah. People have been noticing the new art there, Yog. Oh, I will. There you go. Sorry if that uh, I jumped the gun on that. Yeah, but, uh, that's fine. Um, no, so I, I mentioned last stream um, we wanted, we, and we still want to kind of uh, rework art so it doesn't, isn't just spamming it all over, but we did have, as part of that rework, which is unfortunately probably not gonna make it out for this update, we did add a, ha add a few new pieces, so you'll find a couple new art pieces in the game. Um, so yeah, so I'm sure some of you recognize what they're from. So um, good. Sticky. They're from so <laughs> No, I'm, I'm saying they're so good. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the they're pretty cool. Scream, man. Uh, it's Holy cow. Um, yeah, so what I am going to actually try and do in this game, uh, and then we can get into playing and I can try and focus, because as everyone knows who's watched this stream before, I cannot play and talk. <laughs> <laughs> so um, 
what I'm going to do is um, there are these new mushrooms up here. Oh. Uh, the dust cap. The dusk cap. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Trying to be your hype man, dude. Oh. The dust cap. The dust cap. Me, where's the button for the, <laughs> the cool thing? Hold yeah, on. For the cool thing? The dust cap. I feel like if you switch the button and do that, what? it'll just destroy your voice. Switch it to this is what you're no, saying? No, switch to the middle. You're saying that this is what you want? I do like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's unfortunate because they can't hear you, no, and, they, I, and they want to hear you, they and I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you don't want to hear me. Anyways. Oh, goodness <laughs> gracious, I'm coming back on. Hello. Yeah. All right. Oh, um, sorry. Before I get into dust caps, for those who haven't seen it before, there's this new creature in the game, the Shine Bug, which uh, gives off light, um, which is nice because there are now plants in the wild that actually require light, and actually some plants that require darkness. Um, and it's also uh, oh. a nice decor bonus. So this is just kind of flying around my base, making it buddy. nice in this area. You can just, instead of those lamps you could just let a bunch of bugs fly around you huh? could just let a bunch of bugs fly around wow. it's like my apartment dude <laughs> you know what the space needs it just needs more insects and then that would brighten the place up yeah my roommate's like what are you talking about yeah. <laughs> just letting you yeah, there's just fruit everywhere <laughs> why is this here oh because trust me yeah, i saw it in a game it's, it's perfect. a decor bonus <laughs> Like, no, this is disgusting. Yeah. Oh, gracious me. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh, oh uh, yeah. new guys are out. Um, nice. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> part of um, what we've done, if you watch the, I think they mentioned this in the World Gen stream, is we have better control over layout of things in the world, especially stamping things in in a, a generated world. Um, so we did that for the ruins, and you'll see that when you try that stuff out. But that also kind of let us uh, set up uh, geysers in areas that made sense. Yeah, Whereas yeah. before, like you'd have tiles on top, just of like, it, just, yeah. yeah. So um, they'll they'll look a little bit more crafted and like they fit in. Yeah, that's um, cool. and that's. This is this isn't even the one that's they've been working on. That one's this is just cool because it's even like drooling over the side. So there, it'll be this art. It just yeah. the setup is slightly more interesting. Um, so the dust cap is what I was actually talking about, and this gives me the opportunity to talk about some of the farming changes. So um, we took out uh, yield. Um, yield tended to be a lot of uh, clicking and uh, trying to understand UI, and we are going to expand the number of plants and have different requirements instead. So you'll have different looking things and different ways that you need to grow them. So um, it does streamline understanding what's going on. So here you can see if I click on my dust cap, it tells you I need a press uh, what pressure I need to grow it. Uh, in this case, the dust cap actually can only grow in carbon dioxide, uh, which is a new, uh, having a specific element for a plant is a new requirement. I'm pretty sure, I'm like 90% sure that's not. That that's new? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, sometimes I forget what's in the agricultural upgrade. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, so you can see here, this is uh, the temperature the plant actually needs to be at. You hover over it, it tells you. This one actually needs to be in darkness, so um, I don't want any lights near it. Um, and this, this was always true, uh, but now it's much more clear, is um, when you do domesticate a plant, when you put it in a planter box or a farm tile, um, it actually grows faster. And I'm pretty sure that was never shown in the UI, mm. um, but now it's just here, and it actually tells you when you domesticate it, this one needs fertilization as it is. That's killer. <laughs> What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> That's killer. It is! Dust cap! <laughs> Anyways, so um, what I'm going to actually do when I'm not busy, uh, <laughs> I th damn. thank you for the excitement. It yeah, fuels me. It energizes me. <laughs> um, I am going to try and get through to these dust caps. I'm going to try and get this steam geyser water falling down here and filling my pit here because it's kind of getting a little bit empty. Um, I don't really want to pay the energy cost of pumping CO2 around. Um, so I've noticed that my base has a natural CO2 deposit here that kind of accumulates. So I'm going to kill mm -hmm. off these algae terrariums and kind of let more CO2 accumulate here. I'll probably move them somewhere else, actually. Um, put your caps in there? I, yeah, I'll probably put the caps down here. So basically, the algae, algae terrariums at this level will keep uh, the CO2 from rising up. But I don't want these algae terrariums here to like kill it on the way down. Yeah. And then I'm going to try and grow them in here. Um, yeah. Ah, that's cool. So that is what I'm going to try. 
I don't know if it's going to work. That is the plan. That's how stream goes, baby. That is how the stream goes, We're baby. Just, <laughs> you got it. Again. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> every, every time you say something like that, it just fuels you. <laughs> <laughs> We should uh, tell that the sound story later. Yeah, yeah we probably should. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm going to try and make that happen. I'm going to play a stream. So if you have questions, if you see me um, not succeeding, which I, I know you let me know. <laughs> or <laughs> and I'll read them saying it, and I will not tell you Yeah, exactly. in order to protect your self-esteem. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, now if you have questions, is this correct there, Yogurt? Yeah. If they have questions, they yeah, can... Yeah, uh, fire them away. Let me tell you, I got a friend whose last name is Gertson. And Do I you was really? thinking earlier, I was like, it would be really cool if your last name was Gertson. Mine? Yeah, because Like Yo Gertson? Yogurt. Oh my god. You see? Oh my god. Have you heard tell us yogurt? <laughs> That's really bad. <laughs> yeah. Like Yo Gertz. <laughs> yo <laughs> Yogurt. Okay. All right, if you got questions, hit me up with them, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we've got a couple. Michi. Hey, Yog. Uh, Michi didn't say this. I'm adding that. Yeah. Little, little <laughs> hey, Yogurtson. <laughs> that's what. He, that's for sure what they said. Yeah. Michi's like, ah, I love this Yogurtson yeah. thing. Uh, uh, Michi asks, will the points of interest look different depending on the biome? For example, have space heaters in them in the ice biome? I think that uh, uh, is that a thing for them to discover their own selves? Yes, that's what I would say. All right. I would say. Feel free to ask about the uh, the points of interest, and then we probably won't answer much questions about them. <laughs> not not trying to be mean or anything. That's kind of um, like a lot of this are a lot of the uh, the gameplay you do is uh, is about strategy. So I'm showing off like the new buildings, new actions you can do in game is yeah. pretty cool. Um, that the ruins are more of a discovery element, and mm -hmm. the fun is all in discovering and using them and seeing what's there yeah. and things like that. Uh, so I think we're going to save that for the actual release. Cool. Uh, cool. So cool. 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 I do apologize, but that's you said my you didn't answer. want to be mean. Well, I didn't want to be mean you're in that. I don't. <laughs> I I don't want to not answer the question. You're right. You're right. But you're right. then I'm not going to answer the question. So I'm sorry. That's fine. Right. <laughs> you did it for good reason. It's yeah. for their. It's for them to to enjoy it more yeah. when it comes out. Uh, Mr. Who, 995, is there a release date yet? Uh, so what we mentioned at the beginning is our current target date is the 24th of this month. 24th of August. Of this month of this year. That is also true. Is correct? <laughs> okay. It's good to specify. <laughs> People were wondering. Uh, they, they, seriously, they someone asked wondering. this year? Yeah. Or you added that? No, I, that was not a, an, an addition of, of my... It does uh, sound like an addition of yours. No, I promise you it was not. Uh, cryptic uh, Fox Gaming. What's the actual negative impact of the disease? We get spores now, but it, rel it doesn't really do anything noteworthy. Uh, so having a disease, um, you different diseases do different things. So slime lung, slime lung attacks your lungs, makes you uh, have trouble breathing, and uh, food poisoning will actually v make you vomit all over the place. You, uh, nice. uh, you are correct. The diseases in the current build are, they're not really threatening. In fact, I think curing them is almost not <laughs> <threatening>. <laughs> not It's bad play. <laughs> bad play. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I still like to do it because I like to take care of them, but uh, at, at least in the, the current version that we're playing, getting the diseases is not something you want to do. It's something you definitely want to avoid. Yeah. Uh, the other thing you tend to want to avoid is you tend to not want to spend the time cleaning up after the fact. Isol like, prevention is definitely the way to go. Uh, spending all your time um, actually going through and disinfecting your base, uh, it takes a lot of time, and definitely a lot more time than actually uh, preventing the problems from happening. Uh, it's all over your ladder there, huh? Good gracious. Are you gonna, are you gonna interact with any slime lung here? Are you just gonna pop open a slime lung well, uh, pocket? Yeah. <laughs> So um, oh, yeah, nice. I think I'm probably going to end up interacting with it when I try and get the Let's see if dust can, caps. I bet you could get over there without uh, popping into that little... I could, but I think I want to. All right. Not, not <laughs> because at, that's what I wish on my that's dupes. That's the classic <laughs> cruel yogurts and talking right there. Yeah. I'm just like, oh my god, Dots, that's super <laughs> awesome. What's that? Yeah. I want that on my dupes. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, how you doing? You want another question there? What do you yeah, do? What's, yeah, what's yeah. your capacity here? I just need to build a new bottler because this mm. doesn't reach anymore. That bottler's quite diseased, too, if I recall. That's fine. All That'll right. be fine. Yeah, just <laughs> spill it. Uh, Riodes. 
asks the following question of you. Yep. You ready for it? Yeah. Wait. Yep. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. I'll check again. Yeah. Uh, Riodes asks, is there a plan to add more randomized encounters and interesting events? Uh, the answer is yes, that is something we want to add. Uh, and the other answer is most likely not in this update. Um, those are the two answers. There you go. <laughs> yep. Two answers, one question. Oh, that's yeah. a great return right there. Mm -hmm. Um, you'll notice here. Sometimes I, you add. Uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you ask a question and you get zero answers. That's true. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. you're like, "Hey, uh, do the ruins have this?" And the answer is. Yeah. <laughs> it's like silence. a bunch of words. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Misdirection. So there you go, Riodes. You got the other uh, an answer for yeah. uh, the previous question. Um, so here again, what I'm doing here is I didn't think about this when I was originally laying out my base, but uh, I'm going to tile off the side here because. I don't want the dupes who are uh, interacting with the slime stuff to just walk around freely around my base. I definitely don't want them to walk in front of the cooking station, even though oh, yeah. uh, there is a wash basin ah. here. So I'm probably so um, this water will probably connect to here. I'll bring the mushrooms down here and grow them here, uh, and then maybe put like a wash basin on the way out or something. Just to I guess you could do something with doors too, like uh, only allow certain people to go up there, and then those people, if yeah. you had doors here. You'd say, ah, don't go in there. Yep. You're dirty. You're dirty. You gotta have a <laughs> That's little... what you would say. That's you <laughs> You're dirty. <are> dirty. <laughs> yeah, that's uh that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Uh <clears throat> Stiggy double O. Will the plants actually use up the CO2? Or do they just uh require to be in it? Uh they uh they currently just require to be in it. Gotcha. Doop doop doop. Oh. Um, so here, I'm most of my play here is with uh, wash basins, which um, with wash basins, you have to deal with the output. Uh, it basically converts. Um, what we did is the hand sanitizer. If you actually use the hand sanitizer, it still requires uh, bleach stone, but it just kills it off. So um, you do have to deal with the fact that there's chlorine in your base, but it does mean that you don't, it means that the germs just go out and get destroyed. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, someone was asking, is there a, a usage of uh, uh, chlorine? Yeah. Other things are like, um, so using uh, showers will rinse the germs off of you. Uh, using flush toilets, which I haven't done here, uh, it lets you have greater control. Like using a flush toilet, uh, most of the germs actually end up in the pipe and then will actually spit out here. Because mm. the germs actually travel through the pipes as well. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any of that set up? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for mentioning it, though. Oh. That's very nice of you. Um, <laughs> oh. Yeah? Are we doing a name? You want Max? I think we have a name. Someone had previously uh, yeah. made a request. The shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Yogurtson. Yo oh, my God. Someone said that, right? They did, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I promise to you. So what? how do you spell your friend's actual... Actually, um, yeah. Let's go with... Yeah, you. Um, thing I'll mention, yeah. uh, let me just do the name first. Uh, Get the important stuff out of the way first, buddy. Okay. Yog. Yog. Uh, no, that's one word, man. That's how your friend's last name works? Is it tied <laughs> to his first? <laughs> yeah, it's just one long string. Uh, o E. O E. R. R. T. T. Z. Z. Next comes the E. What do you mean, next comes the E? Why is there another. And then finally, the letter N ends the word. So if you look, the people who actually requested it did not spell it like that. Wow, <laughs> that one's way better. You tell your friend about it. I'll call him right now. Hey, you got a dumb last name there, yep. Gertson. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a good name. <laughs> Just like one of those shows you do, like call a friend at home during the last stream. Hey, we're live. <laughs> Say something. Oh uh, man, I wonder yeah. if I should call him right now. Yeah. Um, Put him on the line. <laughs> What Call I'm, up him. Are you gonna Call it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, what I was going to show is um, uh, yeah, the dupes yeah. actually have an immunity attribute, uh, which currently doesn't level up. And the immunity attribute actually affects how many germs uh, a dupe actually needs before they are actually affected by disease. So again, if you're working in a heavily diseased area, you can um, ah. leverage the fact that some of your dupes can deal with it more than others. That's your dirty dupes. That's. 
That's the <laughs> That's usually how it works. <laughs> the the more say. immunity someone has, the dirtier they are because they don't care. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, ah. <laughs> the immunity actually reflects their opinion <laughs> of dirtiness. That's what <laughs> I do not care. I love <laughs> that it. That this is gross. I love it. Um, Oh, this was this. See, this is why I can't do this live on stream. So have faith in yourself. Man. No, like literally, this should be up here because I'm going to drop water and it's just going to sink this uh, whole thing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, have faith, yeah. but also I wreck this. All right. Well, while so you're doing that, it's probably time for more questions. Yeah, let's grab a question here. <clears throat> I wish things were on a little sheet of paper. I wish we had a little printer that went of questions and printed it up. <laughs> What's this? Yeah. Pull it up like a little thing, you know? Yeah. Hey, all, all right, right. Uh, let's see here. Captain Gurney, that's yep. a great name. When it comes to power, do you have plans to add steam turbine generators? Uh, we definitely want to do power with steam. It will not be in this update, sorry. That's cool, man. That tends to be, we get a lot of requests across a lot of areas. Um, yep, so um, a lot of things we want to add. Sorry, it won't be in this update, Yeah. but uh, a lot of people bring that one up. Yeah, that'd be cool. Ah, uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, Gurney, uh, of course. Thank you for asking. Signas uh, asks, is that release date, August 24th, for the main branch, or are you doing a beta branch for it on August 24th? Main branch, main release, branch. Just worldwide, worldwide, international. Wow, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Interplanetary, you think? You think Martians would uh, like this game? That's too far. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Download speeds are too slow on Mars. Download speeds are too slow on Mars for this update. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's the official release. Yeah. Oh, um, that's beautiful. Yeah. So we are, um, there is actually uh, currently, uh, and some people in the chat are actually a part of the closed beta. And yeah, they've, they've been, been helping us test. questions. Yeah, they've been answering questions. They've been helping us out with. Uh, bug testing and everything, but no, the 24th is uh, the date we're aiming for you, whoever you are in the chat, getting it, getting to play it. Wow. Plural you. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see here. What, you want another one? Yeah. All right. We're almost out of the questions that have been filtered up here. Uh, again, if you got, if you got any questions, uh, I'm almost through the questions that Jan pushed forward here. Uh, Clay Entertainment. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's that's not who asked the question. <laughs> what? It was me <laughs> sitting here <laughs> typing it to us. Oh my god. Pseudo Shred asks, Clay Entertainment, what was your inspiration for Oxygen Not Included? Uh, what was our inspiration for Oxygen Not Included? So, uh, originally in the very beginning, um, the inspiration is definitely Dwarf Fortress. Nice. And then. Um, I'm sorry, I always forget the name of this game. Um, so uh, I didn't come. Not included. Oh my God! What the name of this no, game? No, the is, utter you know? inspiration game. What? It's, um, Dwarf Fortress. Lord of Sand. Oh. I think that's what it's called. Oh, that like sandbox kind of thing where you're. Yeah, the the sand simulation game. Stuff. Yeah, so it was a, a mix of the two. World of uh, Sand. World of Sand. What did you say? Isn't it Lord Master? of Master? I don't remember what it's called. Uh, Alia. Also, in here, I, sand Alia world. will World of Sand. Yeah. Alia yeah. is the one who came up with it. Or uh, with World of Sand. With the no, with the original idea. <laughs> ah, Josh and you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Alia. <laughs> Thank you. No thanks, Jambo. Yeah. All right. So you're splatting around down there. Yeah. So that's gonna happen. This is gonna empty out, and oh, then I'm gonna yeah. head up there, get myself some dust caps, and life is gonna be good. Meantime, I'm gonna build my ladders up. What's the 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 pathogen, uh, the germ uh, situation up there? Oh. Great. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Let's, <spread. laughs> Let's get rid of some of this wall. Oh, yeah, you can't disinfect plants. A wise man once said. I really like. Yog. Yeah? A wise man once said. Is to that me, you again? You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Pause this. This is important. Okay. A wise man once said. Uh, I don't quite remember exactly. This build up is really. It's A wise really man something. once yeah. said. It's, uh, it would behoove uh, one to uh, uh, prevent germs in the first place <laughs> rather than uh, chasing after it with your disinfectant spray. Do you remember this? I, I, I think I've Yo, heard that somewhere. That was you. Yeah? <laughs> That's awesome. You said it. Thanks. 
So what happened here? It did not go well. <laughs> Again, <laughs> live enough. on stream, doesn't yeah. work out, Fair not enough. great. Oh, I didn't even, I forgot to oh, clean yeah. all this stuff up. Yeah. Hey, we got some new tunes pumping pump, pump around. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. Uh, that's another thing in this update yeah. is a uh, new uh, song by Vince. Vinch. Um, if you haven't noticed yet, I thought I'd point this out, is uh, the songs in Oxygen Not Included. Um, I think we've said this on stream before, but when Civ 6 came out, uh, I sent the, the, this video from PC Gamer to Jambell about, hey, look, their songs change all the time. And then he's Ooh, like, oh yeah. my god, I was the best playing Civ 6 at the time. And, yeah. uh, and so what hap sorry, what okay. happens in the game is, uh, so what, it changes on Zoom, right? Oh, yeah. Um, changes on what you see, is that true? Or what <laughs> biome you're in, or? Not biome, it changes on Zoom. Uh, if you pause it with space bar. Yeah. Uh, open space bar and zoom, does it combine? Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. different. So if you're zoomed in and pause it, it sounds different yeah. than if you're zoomed out and pause it. As uh, different instruments that come in, yeah. is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. and then uh, overlay. Oh yeah. If you open an overlay. And this is one that I think a lot of people don't see if you let them idle. If, if no new jobs, like if everybody's just sitting around and chilling, the music kind of like oh, really? comes to a standstill. And then when they begin a job, it kind of... That's why you up. mentioned it, right? Because I'm not... You have <laughs> six. That was my very subtle way of... Uh, uh, hey, yeah. try and play. <laughs> play more. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but when they're idle... Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, uh, let's see, sorry. Uh, and, and, and one more question. Well, more questions, but I have one for you here. Yep. Imus. Imus42. Oh. Uh, hey, welcome. Oh, your, your metal little thing came off. fell off there. Whoops, the doozle. Imus42 asks the following question uh, Will the pipes themselves get diseased? If they do, will they infect dupes passing by? Um, so, uh, at the, the pipes themselves, so let's dig into that a bit. So if you have something infected going through the pipe, uh, then the infection will spread. Um, if a dupe repairs a pipe or interacts with a pipe on the outside, then you will get disease on top of it. Are you... <laughs> I'm just showing this. Yep. Go ahead, keep going. Um, so again, it's on contact. So, or for example, you would think that deconstructing a building and then building something else would get rid of disease, except that when you deconstruct a building, the ore that comes from it is as disease as the thing you deconstructed. I see, I see. When they pick it up, they, whenever they pick up anything with disease, it transfers onto them. Uh, and then what they build will actually have all the disease, so preserve it. Mm. Gotcha. Um, the other one I wanted to kind of show up here, um, is it still there? This, uh, this morb actually spits out slime lung into the world. Oh. But because this morb is stuck in this chlorine, it actually just kind of dies off right away. Oh. So um, both slime lung and um, food poisoning are very sensitive to chlorine. So another way you could actually try and deal with uh, isolation is you could actually pump some chlorine into an area and have that between, have the dupes oh. walk through it on the way in and out. How long does it take for the, the germs to die? Um, so it's like a chlorine bath. That sounds honestly a little terrifying. <laughs> if you were sick and I said, hey, yo, come into work. I have a room for you to stand in for a few moments. I have a it's chlorine bath. <laughs> full of chlorine gas. So, so uh, here you can see uh, if you click on any diseased uh, building. Actually, this is a, a new feature we did, which uh, I think some people like, is when you're in an overlay, um, if there's a tab that's important to that overlay, Whoa. that's the one that'll get selected. No so way. if you do power and I click on a wire, the wire comes up instead of having to switch, which what? is the worst. That's great. Um, yeah. But what I was actually showing is person was asking or about chlorine. So you can see uh, the germs have a half-life. So uh, here you can see... Oh, that's pretty um, quick. And then... Yeah, because you can see here, what, if it's in gas, it actually dies every two, two cycles, cycles as opposed to 10 seconds in chlorine. Seconds. And you actually see here, pickle. Uh, if you pickle them, which um, it actually doesn't say here, which is unfortunate, we have to fix that. But yeah, if you pickle, pickle your meal lice, the germs will die much faster in it. Ah. Yeah. Can you pickle a duplicate? Can, what? Sorry, go on, keep going. <laughs> can you pick? Uh, Jetpack Boy said a very kind thing here. Uh, I get inspired by how you guys put a lot of work and heart into this game. And I wanted to say we get inspired by seeing you all play this game and do crazy contraptions and 
ridiculous bases yes. and all this, and the the art and stuff that people do. Uh, it's a yeah. two-way road, and we really appreciate uh, you loving the game. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, Uproot this. Up now you gotta add dupe pickling, though. Now I have like to. Like if you find a, like a corpse or something, just throw it in some vinegar. <laughs> That's how pickles work. I suspect. <laughs> <laughs> Master Chef. <laughs> uh, you may have heard of Gordon yeah. Ramsay on yeah. Jambel Pickle Dupe. Wow. <laughs> Did I just come up with a cool alter ego? Um, time will tell. <laughs> the stream will tell. <laughs> <laughs> they all leave. They, they all leave, or the Discord channel will be <laughs> Pickle Jambel. That's pickle what everyone. Jambel. Yeah. Pickle Dupe. I think Pickle Dupe is a great name. I want to see some OC Pickle Dupe. Oh, that reminds me, Mew the Mew. Uh, I told you a while ago that I had a photograph for you. When I was in France, I walked past a store that was called Baldo, and I took a photo of it. Uh, I will show that to you on the forums, perhaps on the uh, Dupa Day yeah. post. Um, I don't think I've shown this changes to, or not changes, this overlay didn't exist in the in the agricultural upgrade, which is unfortunate because it's super useful. Um, the farming overlay, uh, this makes it so that uh, inspecting your farms, there's a lot less clicking and uh, digging through UI. So here you can see these are progress bars that are showing you how long you have until your, uh, your plants have fully grown. Um, and in the case where you actually have a problem, you can see here uh -huh. it shows you the icons of uh, wrong atmosphere or wrong lighting or things like that. Very nice. Um, Part of the change to the farming is that if you don't meet the requirements, they don't actually grow. Uh, but yeah, so now if I'm looking here, like just with the one click, I can I can see like all, everything here is okay, and I'm failing at dust caps because because I'm bad. <laughs> what do you need there? Um, so CO2. Actually, I, this gives me another opportunity to talk about something. Yeah. Is, uh, so change to mopping now that. Um, uh, bottles are kind of important, um, and we kind of always wanted to preserve the mass here. So when you mop liquid, it will actually spit bottles on the ground. Um, and then you can go ahead and empty them at one of your emptiers. These actually work, um, they filter kind of like storage lockers. So you can actually say if you want just polluted water or water. That's cool. Um, or if you manage to get some other liquid, it will show up here. You can actually, the other thing, if you want to do, um, this is a little bit hidden UI, but if, uh, at least when it comes out, if you want to give it a try, you can actually um, turn on delivery here from, uh, from one of the pumping stations. So basically when I enable or disable delivery here, that means it's okay for dupes to pick up from here and transfer it there. So you can actually have them oh. bring it across as bottles. Um, so by default, that's off. By default, if I build a bottle emptier and I build myself uh, a liquid bottler, um, they don't bring it across uh, to the other one, but I can turn that on and actually move the just liquid move just with dupe time. Without pumping and yeah. stuff like that. Hey, cool. So I bet you people find some neat uses for that. So here we go. They are mopping all this craziness. Uh, CJ, sorry, CJ3802 asks, Wait, did you have, were you in the middle nope, of something? No, that's fine. No, that's fine. Oh, I'm just, this is because I'm bad at the game again. That's all right. <laughs> we're used to it. Build a tile there so that it doesn't just leak on top of the mushrooms and <laughs> cause them not to grow. Just keep forever mopping. Yeah. CJ3802 asks, sorry I missed it there. Uh, you had to ask a few times, I apologize. Uh, any plans for vaccines? Um, so exactly how, um, so what happens right, let me start with what happens right now is, uh, so the medical cot acts a little bit different in oh, yeah. this base. So let's get a medical cot built. Do you hear the um, new sound for this thing? For the medical cot? Yeah. For which part? Oh, you just wait, buddy. For when it gets built? No. When you open it up. When I click this? Oh, I like that. Um, what it's showing here is um, the medical cot, you actually want to build uh, a ration box near it and somewhere for the dupes to go to the bathroom. And dupes who are sick, uh, you sign them to the medical cot and doctoring is actually a thing. So a dupe yeah. will come over and actually take care of them. Oh. Um, how um, medicine and something like vaccines actually plays into disease, uh, we're still not sure yet. So uh, 
Um, that doesn't answer your question, but it does give you An idea. <laughs> something yeah. else <laughs> that uh, is in there. So you um, basically have to make like a little uh, infirmary, yeah, if exactly. you will, where you've taken care of their toilet needs and yeah. food and this kind of thing. Um, the other thing you can actually do uh, in this update, um, which is for this and actually for other things, is if you click on uh, any of your storage buildings, whether it's uh, your fridge or your storage compactor or your ration box, is you can now actually control the capacity um, that they get. Uh, so I can say this only takes 70 kilos or 20 kilos. Oh, so I can okay. make myself a little... Like a little snack yeah. cat cupboard, basically. Yeah. So then you can have, you can also do like small little storage lockers next to certain buildings that don't use as much. Uh, oh, that's cool. Uh, <coughs> VCI Gaming asks, does the bottling of water change the temperature of the water at all? Uh, does the... So does bottling from here... Uh, no, the... A uh, bottle that comes out, um, it basically sucks up the liquid same as the pump does. Yeah. Uh, and the liquid that gets sucked up should have all the germs that were sucked up and should be the average temperature of all the stuff that was sucked up. And mopping is the same way, mopping just transfers. Yeah, m the mopping there. sucks up from the world and then spits out a bottle that has everything that that was mopped at that place. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, IMS42, another question. Can we put the bottled water in a storage locker? Uh, can you put the bottled water in a storage locker? There's currently no storage for liquids. Right. It's all just world-based. Yeah. Uh, Noonfish, what are the glowy floaty things? What are the glowy floaty things? Yeah. Uh, oh, the light bugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I mentioned them earlier. Uh, they are a new creature that shine light in the world. Um, and they also contribute to decor, uh, and light actually contributes to decor. So they're pretty good for just um, brightening up your base. Also, uh, there are plants that actually require lighting and plants that require darkness. So depending on if you get a light bug and you get mushrooms next to it, they won't grow. Yeah. If you get a light bug next to some bristle berries, they will grow. Cool, 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 cool. It doesn't actually need that, but I think the hydroponic tiles have a bug in it where they won't actually work properly unless there's, uh, ah, yeah. Okay. So, the um, didn't actually need that, but that's a bug that will be fixed. You have them washing their hands before they go and plant. No, this is actually here. This, that's actually what I want. Is I want them as to they're come going. From there. Yeah, when they're coming there. Yeah, but you see, you got this other way of exiting. Them. Yeah, because I'm bad. I see. See. <laughs> This is kind of neat. I like that uh, you're kind of made to plan your base, like the, the structure of your base. In this case, fix up <laughs> the mistakes. <laughs> Close. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. What's up? Haddock. Yeah. Do you guys have plans to add more ways to modify access through doors? For example, diseased dupes could get denied or accepted. Um, that is something we have talked about. We are not sure yet. Um, this. Okay, this one I'm pretty sure is different from the agricultural upgrade, is um, you don't have to build the mechanized airlock to control dupe flow anymore. So oh, yeah. it doesn't give you any more control, which is what you're asking for, uh, but you can actually, with any door, you can actually um, say who actually makes it through. <laughs> What's up? Michi is a... Uh, ah, never mind. Go on. Okay. Go on, my friend. Um, so... Uh, other interesting thing I have to do here, so there's still no way to um, control where the shine bugs go. And the this goal, is, <laughs> the yeah, goal this of this whole what? thing is to grow some mushrooms which don't grow in light. Yeah. Which basically means that... Oh! <laughs> he did it! <laughs> he it has, has no to happen, right? There's no choice. There's oh. no other choice. Oh, good gracious. <laughs> oh, gee. No. <laughs> oh, sad. But... You're a monster, Yog. Look at how nice that looks now. Yeah. Under the dust What's cap. nicer, uh, a mushroom or a, a this cute progress bug bar? Going. This progress bar is moi. <laughs> Holy cow. If you think Yog is a, a nice guy, press the letter uh, N. If you think Yog is an absolute monster who uh, would uh, kill uh, his own friend for the, the well being of his mushrooms, of my fungus, of his fungus, <laughs> type the letter F. I think we know how many letter Fs we're going to see here, buddy. None. Have you done this before on the stream? I've never done like, anything. Please type letters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got some Fs. 
I want to see at least an N. I think that I would type N. Hey, Here, can one you sec, give me the one keyboard? Sec. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there was four N's. Mr. Scrap Hack. <laughs> you got a buddy there. Uh, does anyone have a name for us? I think that's not Jambell for a name. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Do, do what you want, man. <laughs> You've you given up. <laughs> this stream over. <laughs> Yeah, death in the stream is death of the whole stream. Yeah, I love those little bugs. Bobinski, that's a good name. Captain Gurney. I like it. Not another, just another jam bell. Just another. Not Yog. Uh, oh, I like that one. Not Yog. Not Yog would have been good. Shine Bug Slayer. Yeah. Shine Bug Slayer. <laughs> it's my hero name. <laughs> Yogurtson, Slayer of Shine Bugs. <laughs> That's, yeah. Oh, okay. That's it. That's all I got. Dude. That's all you got? That's all right. Cool. I think he, basically, I think that was planned as well. I think he's rehearsed a lot of parts for this stream. Because he's like, I have to do a big entrance, a big exit, and all that. And, um, yeah. Not buying it. <laughs> Not buying what? My theatrics? Your theatrics. <laughs> you know, I like to keep the... Uh, Keep you on the feet, you see? Yeah. All right, let's see here. Uh, so yeah, you can see here, uh, pinch of pepper plant um, still um, requires heat. Uh, you can see the cycles, how long it takes to grow in, wild, in the wild versus if I domesticate it. Uh, it requires polluted water, which I can pipe in into uh, my irrigation tiles. It actually is fertilized with phosphorite now. Oh. Um, yeah. Well, you, you got a lot done when I was gone there, buddy. Yeah, it's way better. Wow. <laughs> You're way more productive. That's awesome. So, yeah. Um, so this, this seems, this atmosphere is actually working for these. And there's actually, um... And yeah, now you've killed your best friend. Now that I've killed my best friend. The bug, you see it. Yeah. You didn't actually have any feelings for it, I know, but that's fine. <laughs> so um, here I'm going to turn off eating dusk mushrooms because there is an actual recipe for fried mushroom. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to have them make fried mushroom. Where? Oh, where? Or, yeah. So continuous fried mushroom. Boop. There we go. Fried mushroom, cook them mushrooms into something better that destroys disease. <laughs> well, your boon says, real Jambel just left. This new guy is Jambel Pickle Dupe. <laughs> and uh, I love it. You love Whoa. it? You're dumping clean and dirty water into that pit? Uh, yeah, I turned it on because uh, when, I, when I mopped the liquid, um, basically I wanted somewhere to put the I bottles. See. So see. You tend to want... Um, when you decide where your pit is, you tend to want to build uh, a couple of actual emptiers so that um, you can go through the bottles a little bit quicker. So oh, you're just going all out. Yeah, all out bottle emptying. That's madness. Yeah. Wanton bottle emptying going on. Yeah. Holy canoodles. So. Uh, <clears throat> Captain Gurney was asking about uh, if uh, there are plans uh, in the future for radioactive itty. Radioactive. <laughs> Radioactive ores. Um, it is something we have talked about, and I am not sure. Cool. Uh, what do you? Uh, any plans for uh, explosions or earthquakes? Explosions or earthquakes? I'm, uh, I'm personally invested in this one because I like those sounds. Those sounds? Say. Yeah. Um, someone, or the answer I will give is uh, someone asked before is. Uh, Will there be events that happen when you play oh, that yeah. kind of disrupt your play, yeah. which is, you're talking yeah, about earthquakes. I don't know what exactly they will be, but that is definitely something we've talked about that we want to add to the game. Um, so specifically earthquakes, I don't know, and explosions. If you're asking about will buildings explode, I'm not sure, but I think so at some mm. point. If you're asking oh, you if random it. explosions will just happen in the world, <laughs> that I don't know. <laughs> what? I like the idea of just like... Whoa, what well, was that? It, it can just be like two chemicals reacting. Oh. Right? Yeah. Like we, there I is see. a justification there. Yeah, yeah. I didn't just mean like. Like just <laughs> randomly. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the bed exploded. Ah! If they see, like just something blows up and then it's like your face pops up and it's like, gotcha. <laughs> you thought this was going to be have a snap. Eh? Shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't have pumped water into your. <laughs> gotcha. And then gotcha. the game uninstalls itself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gracious me. 
Um, Jan is saying we have four minutes left. I presume he's like trying to be like, okay, guys. You oh, oh, Jan. Finish her up here. Such pressure every yeah. time. No, oh, Jan's, here's a good question. Jan's great. I have a question for you yep. from uh, Thorman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and finally nine. Mm hmm. Asks, uh, what have you done to fix the leg in large bases? Um, so, uh, on the technical side, um, a few things run better. Uh, so, pipes run a little bit better or more efficient. Uh, the other big one is um, when the dupes had to actually consider all the water in the world as to which one they wanted to pick up, that was kind of expensive yeah. uh, on the lag side. So, um, uh, you're, in general, you will see the bases will run faster. Um, the pe it'll depend on what your base was made up of. A base with a lot of liquid lying around will probably run a bunch faster. And in general, every base runs a little bit faster. Nice. The analogy I like to think of for that water thing, <clears throat> you know when you're like, hey, I'm thirsty. And you're yep. like, oh, I'll get myself some water. I would like to have a drink. Yeah. And you stand up and grab a glass from the cupboard. And uh, there are two places in your house that you could get water from. There are two pl okay. The kitchen sink, or perhaps the bathroom sink. Okay. <laughs> and you say, ah, I'll get it from the kitchen sink. Ah, uh, you know. Yeah, you see? And then you're like, no, nah, but actually the bathroom sink might be a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. But the kitchen sink, yeah, there's more over there. You know, that, that tap goes for a little bit. Yep. And hours later, you've now died <laughs> from uh, <laughs> thirst uh, death. I don't know what they call that, yeah. uh, you know. What do they call that when, like, it's like decision overload or, like, um, Being decision an paralysis? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but That's why the water thing yeah. is... Uh, but the better analogy is you consider your bathroom sink, your kitchen sink, and then everyone else is on the block. <laughs> and you're like, should I use mine? <laughs> or the neighbor down the street, no, who I've never said hi. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm thirsty. Yeah. Uh, have you got anything for this? Have yeah. you heard of this thing? Exactly. Also, uh, could I take a drink out of your toilet? Exactly. Because there's water in there. Because well. I'm not sure if that's better than the <laughs> stuff I have in. Yeah. In my sink. Oh, goodness gracious. How many, how many uh, water sources on average do you think are, are in a home? How many water sources are in a home? Yeah, like generally. Um, well, interesting fact. Um, my place in, this is in Vancouver yeah. um, actually has an official sign that's put in that says you cannot drink the toilet water. <laughs> Um, and, it, and usually toilet water is safe to drink, oh. uh, but ours is this Good crazy thing. green thing where it's like recycled from the roof or whatever. Oh. And the nice thing is that's good for the environment. The bad thing is it's tinted. <laughs> what? <laughs> the water in my toilet is often not clear. Interesting. Yeah. Pre-usage. Pre-usage. Okay. Yes, yes. I got you. <laughs> All right, well, yeah. that's it for us. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm sure Jan wants a summary. Let me get into that. He's like, so zero minutes left. Zero minutes <laughs> yeah. left. <laughs> Should have stopped it like five minutes ago. It would have been way better. But OK, so uh, today we were playing the upcoming Outbreak upgrade. Not update. Nice, upgrade. Dude. Nice. Branding. The Outbreak upgrade. Basie. I'm going to snack while you do this. Yeah? yeah? You've been waiting the whole stream for that. A single that, bite of that makes the sound way better. I had one bite of this thing at the start of stream, and now I'll have the secondary yeah. bite. Um, and the outbreak upgrade basically f focuses around two things. One is uh, pathogens and how they spread through your base and how you want to kind of isolate them and definitely not clean them up and the repercussions <laughs> when you do have to clean them up. Um, and the other thing are there are new non-natural uh, things in the world, Whoa. which you can kind of... We've hey. actually shown the door before, just not barely. that door, right? Yeah, that door. Oh, that door? Yeah. Okay. Um, so we haven't really shown the, uh, the runes in the stream, and I don't think we will before we actually release the, uh, the update, but there are new things in the world um, that are not natural, that are um, made by someone, made by something. And wow, they... you're just blasting that out, right? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Who knows? Well, I guess it would have to be made by somebody. Well, it's basically a non-organic thing in the world that starts to kind of inform you on... Uh, Here, I'll stop being vague. The story of the game is as follows. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, 
Um, they kind of hint at uh, what, what happened, why you're here, what you're trying to do, things like that. Um, so yeah, as you kind of explore the world, there's a, a little bit more to find, a little bit more things to do there. Um, and then inside, I was showing here uh, in the um, germ overlay, you can see I basically tried to isolate the germs in my base to this area at the bottom left. Uh, I'm using these new directional wash basin buildings to have the dupes clean themselves as they leave. Um, and they kind of, they take the polluted water with all the germs and recycle that at these new bottle emptiers. A uh, bunch of other things like um, the liquid bottler, which actually lets you control where you actually get water from. Um, we've streamlined the farming a bit, so it's a little more unstandable, a little less UI clicking. It's actually fair. It's quite easy now to understand if you're doing well or if you're doing poorly. In some some cases, some now people. You speak my language. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, there and. What else am I? In? Oh yeah. So there's a bunch of other things. Click on storages. You can compost food, um, new paintings, uh, and yeah, other things. How's Ellie doing? She's still. How's uh, Ellie disgusting, doing? Uh, oh. Uh, she uh, she had a little. She yeah. cleaned herself. She probably part. cleaned herself. Yep. Oh, so, someone was asking earlier. Uh, I apologize. I forget the the name. But uh, they were saying, what's, what are those boxes that, that open up when you click your medical cot? Oh, that's the area that you can actually place your ration box and your toilet in. Right. Oh, and um, I don't think I said this at the beginning of the summary, but no. we are trying to get this out. Our target date is August 24th of this year. 2017, correct. 2017. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that is for everyone. That's not a closed alpha or anything. That's you get to play it. Nice. Yeah. And then you can tell us what you think. And uh, yeah. We're yeah. excited for you to get your hands on it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for. Well, well, we're going to. You want to save this stuff? Oh, button. that's right. Whoa, look at that. Having a big old snack. Oh, there's nothing in our hands. Scroll away. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Jesus. perfect way to end this stream. <laughs> Eating nothing at all. Thank you very much. Thanks for hanging out. Uh,